All right, so uh, we have already learned on the array test. There are so many types of array tests. We learned on the cascade array test. And then we have multiple platform. So basically, multiple platform and cascade array test is the same. And then it's more or less the same, OK? And then we have venturi array test. If you remember, when we talk about venturi array test, a little bit of this, OK? So suddenly, they have a very uh, narrow uh, lane. So we have turbulence over here, and then people pump air, and then the water get aerated. So that's venturi. And the last one is the draft tube aerator. So this is how it looks like of the draft tube aerator. So for the purpose of this subject, we are expected to design the cascade aerators. Okay, cascade aerators. So when they talk about designing cascade aerators, what the question is expecting the students to answer is to basically to determine, determine the diameter, okay? of these uh, cascade rate So when we talk about the di diameter, this is basically what I mean, okay? My arrow is moving from left to right. So that is the diameter. And then we know we need to know the height of the, the height of the cascade rate So when we talk about height, is from this, this, from this top, this, until the bottom, this. So this is the height of the diameter, okay? So a proper, um, we are expecting the height of this cascade aerator, okay? We want to design it between one meter to three meters. So if you want to jot down on, on your diagram, okay? So the acceptable height for cascade aerators is one to three meters. So that is the first thing that you need to know. And normally, the distance Okay, between one this to another, this distance, I mean, one this to another, should be between 46 to 76 centimeters. Okay, I repeat it again, just in case that you are not aware. Okay, the distance, we are expecting the distance between one this to another this, between 46 to 76 centimeters. Right, so if you remember, the water comes from... Uh, the water intake from here, so it goes through this um, tube, if you like, okay? So it guts down from one dish to another, one dish to another, so you can see the air, you can uh, assume or you can imagine the air from uh, the oxygen from the air, okay, the water splashes, so it get mixed with the air, so the water here is an aerated water, okay, compared to the water from uh, the raw water, okay? We assume that the raw water should have oxygen less compared to the air water at here, okay? Because the water has goes down, has, has go down, okay? So the water here must contain higher oxygen compared to the raw water from the intake. Right, when we talk about design cascade aerators, you are introduced or you will be introduced with the Gamerson formula. So what is the Gamerson formula? So the Gamerson formula is this, okay? R is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 times A times B times H, okay? So this is the formula. I don't think you need to memorize this, okay? In examination, normally uh, the equation will be given. So you don't have to memorize that, okay? So this is the formula. So what is R? Oh, I think I want to explain R at the later part, okay, at the last part. So 1 is 1, nothing strange about 1. 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, this is number. And A, okay, if you may allow, if you may allow me to explain first, okay, A is the type of pollution, okay, the water itself, the water that goes into the aerator. So level of pollution. If you are using uh, a slightly polluted water, that means it's quite clean, okay? it's like only slightly polluted, like a normal river. So the value for A is 1.25. If it is a moderated polluted water, it's quite polluted actually. So the value for A is 1. And if it's a sewage, which we will not be using for water treating, okay, sewage is air kumbahan. So we don't use that for drinking water. But nonetheless, the value for sewage is 
0 0.85. Okay, smaller number. And H here, I know as a B, I will explain it a, a little bit. Okay, uh, later. But I'm going to explain H first. H is the height of cascade erectors. Okay, you remember from the top this until the bottom this. So that height is the H. Okay. So I said to you that the height is preferable to be between 1 to 3 meters. So now B is the type of wheel actually. So type of wheel. Uh, free fall, the value for B is 1. Okay, for free fall wheel. But for step wheel, the value is 1.3. My question is, do you know what is wheel? Does anyone know? Absolute silence, okay? Anyone would try. Tak tahu, tak tahu. Right, so this is a wheel. So this is a free fall. They are not step wheel, okay? They're simply the water goes from top to bottom like that, okay? So it's free fall wheel, so the value is one. But if you have a step wheel, okay? They like stairs, okay? So they step from one step to another step, one step to another step. So the water comes from the here and it goes down, okay, in a step wheel. So the value is a bit greater, 1.3, uh, the, the value, okay, the value is 1.3 for the step wheel. So this is the wheel. 